Hi, I'm Gavin Quinney of Chateau Bauduc near Bordeaux in southwest France and welcome to this mini disaster movie because uh, this month, May 2009, we've been unlucky enough to have been on the end of not just one but two freak hailstorms and uh, the first was on the 13th of May, very early in the morning, 3.30 in the morning. Uh, we weren't able to see the extent of the damage until obviously we went out in the vineyard the following day and uh, a bit more uh, of that a little later in the show. But we're going to start this program with uh, the second hailstorm which happened this Monday in the afternoon of Monday the 25th of May and uh, because it was daylight I was able to take some video footage of, of the hailstones uh, but also the, the damage immediately after the storm. The damage incidentally was to vineyards uh, behind the woods here behind me. Uh, those were the ones that took the, the brunt of uh, that, that particular storm. So uh, I guess without further ado, uh, for all you vine spotters and uh, wine people out there, uh, former Gorpers Q. So, asteroid, like so, nice, and cherry flavoured, very pretty round ones, these monster asteroids. I mean, they're like something... Oh, yeah. Extraordinary, aren't they? It's unbelievable. They saw it. They saw it. And sheared off. Oh, when did we plant this? 2001. Out of this. But just here we are at the end of May. And look what we got. Now it's not snow. That is hailstones. Those are hailstones, folks. They've just been trashing our vineyard. Oh la 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 la. Fuck you now. Incredible. Les vendanges ça vous coûte 12 000 euros. Déjà, juste les frais de vendanges, de ramassage. C'est catastrophique. À la machine. À la machine. Et à la main c'est pire. À la main ça va, ça va être pire. On va faire pour commencer ça. Comment on va financer les, les vendanges Merci pour l'année prochaine. Parce que le bois Ah bah tout, tout taillé à côte. On va tailler à côte. Et encore, il y, a, il y a du bois qui est malade, hein. Il est touché, hein. Même, ah bon, celui-là c'est bon, mais... Oh. Oh, j'ai regardé les formes, on voit le cœur du, du grêlon, et puis après, il en tombant, il s'est... Il a grossi. Ground. All the leaves and the baby grapes. What would have been grapes just before flowering? Uh, two weeks before flowering, maybe. No, ten days before flowering. And... Oh dear. Right. Just trashed. Trashed. Completely. Uh. Oh. Wow. 
Look at that. Glistening like little yeah. Like little fuckers actually. And I'm crunching as I'm walking and crunching along on the house down. See them? On the gravel they've melted. But here they're still very much between the roads. In evidence. Look at this. Blocks of the things. Here, beautiful pearly white. Look at that. Unbelievable. Jeez, this is a parcel we planted in 2002. This inspection just really mangled. Mangled. Oh merde, merde. Juicy, fat hailstones. God. Uh, there's more things. There's a whole vineyard. Now I make that. Oh, this is five hectares here and over the other side. So we've seen the damage to the vineyards after the second hailstorm, and here we are in the uh, parcels that were hit very badly by the first one on the 13th of May, early in the morning. Uh, we're in a block of. Uh, Sauvignon Blanc here that we planted five years ago and we are hoping for a really good crop this year. We had a small harvest from it last year but uh, we were looking for something really juicy in 2009 but sadly that's not going to be the case. Virtually nothing at all from here. Um, this, these are all white vines around us here, Sauvignon Blanc, uh, which is our main variety and then we've got old Semillon vines of the Trois Hectares beyond the pine trees in the distance three hectares of that and then uh, semillon vines, young semillon that we planted a few years ago uh, and as we sweep round we see uh, more Sauvignon Blanc and although you can see a lot of greenery that's shot up since the hail damage exactly two weeks ago, uh, really if we look a little bit closer at the vine uh, we'll see just how much damage has been done because really just look at the peppering of the, of the branches that these poor little young vines have taken. Hello Palmer, you look a bit startled. So here's a picturesque spot. Uh, there on the slope below us is Merlot and in the distance Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, all the vines have been uh, hit in one way or another although the vines closest to the wood were, had the most protection so uh, they're a little less damaged down there. There we are, a grand old Semillon vine planted in 1947. But the hail just, uh, ooh, the smell of mint around here, but the hail just uh, just ripped the branches off, peppered them completely. And it's the same for the whole parcel. So, you know, Trois for 2009. The block of Merlot on the left-hand side of the drive as you go down, uh, this block has just been completely trashed. There is nothing, nothing here at all. So this block here, a two hectare parcel of Sauvignon Blanc vines that we planted just two years ago, is the only parcel that, that survived the storm completely unscathed. Uh, it was protected by the, by the woods here because this faces southeast uh, and the, the wind and the, and the hail came in from the west so, so this particular block was unaffected. It's two hectares so it represents less than 10% of the total vineyard area but it's the only block that was uh, undamaged by the hailstorms, which is a bit of a shame.